First degree AV block. PR prolongation is usually an incidental finding. It is benign and typically does not result in any symptoms. It is common in well-trained athletes who may also have bradycardia due to high vagal tone. It can also occur with many different illnesses, such as an inferior wall myocardial infarction. It can occur with electrolyte disturbances, such as hyperkalemia, or with different medications, such as digoxin, beta blockers, or calcium channel blockers. Physical examination does not result in many signs directly related to a prolonged PR interval. However, the first heart sound may be soft, which can be attributed to an increased duration between atrial and ventricular contraction. The characteristic finding of first degree AV block is a PR interval that is greater than 0.2 seconds in duration. The PR interval is constant and it is not associated with any drop beats. When first degree AV block is detected, it is appropriate to check the electrolyte and TSH levels in order to identify an underlying condition or exacerbating factors. Other investigations may be appropriate depending on the patient's history and physical. Specific therapy is not required. However, reversible causes of first degree AV block should be identified and managed appropriately. In patients with bradycardia, attempts to increase the heart rate, for example with atropine, may paradoxically increase the degree of AV block and thus be counter-effective.